Welcome to Old School RuneScape's Quizmaster, the game show where the contestant competes to win prizes for the audience. Our contestant has one hour to complete as many challenges as possible, each challenge worth its own reward. But there's a twist. The contestant will have their focus constantly interrupted throughout the challenges and have to answer the Quizmaster! Today's special guest is Old School RuneScape streamer, Spraying Mantis. Meet the Spraying Mantis, a remarkable creature known for its cunning and agility. With a keen intellect and unparalleled dexterity, the Spraying Mantis embarks on a seemingly simple task, the opening of a bottle. Ah, but here lies the challenge. The bottle, a vessel sealed tight, presents a puzzle that tests the limits of the spraying mantis's ingenuity. Ah, but what's this? A revelation. Through sheer determination and resourcefulness, our spraying mantis has unlocked the secret to its conquest. Come on. Please! called me fart boy the other day you know that hurts my feelings you know oh have a dope start to your friday mantis are you ready to begin the challenge Yep. <laughs> oh, buddy. Now, man, um, let me tell you something. Let's say you do terrible, and you're the worst RuneScape player we've ever seen. That'll be really funny content. So don't, no pressure, okay? No. The, pressure they're gonna, either. they're gonna love that. You know, you walk away with like five mil, they're gonna think it's hilarious. So, don't feel bad. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, I won't feel bad. I guess they don't need to see. Yeah, like that. Well, with that oh. being said, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, the hour begins now. Good luck, Mr. Oh, Mantis. Oh, oh. The time. Oh shoot! You're lucky. The timer's messed up. Hold on. You can you can go, but you're getting like an extra 30 seconds. Congratulations. Yo, Nightmare Bird, coming in with a 10 pack. Thank you very much, Mr. Reaper. Thank you very much. You legend, brother. Absolute legend, man. All right, hold up, though. I'll stop. No, 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 you're good. You're good. You go. I've got a billion sound alerts popping off, though. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to mute them. My skip button's not working. Son of a gun. Yo. Thank you, Mr. Night Reaper. Much freaking love, brother. A level four hype trade up in here, dude. Let's go. Now, man, as I see you starting off with some shears here, you've got your newcomer map. Boom. <laughs> Jesus. It's going really. You need to put these away. I can't use them all right now, but I don't want to lose Yo, them. Yo, Intrend oh, coming in. Mark that off. That's nice. Oh, with a yeah. five pack. Thank you very much. Night Reaper coming in with a 1500. Thank you very much. All right, now, man, just let me know when you get a challenge done, and I'll mark it off for you, okay? I like that a lot. Yeah, that'll help you out a lot. All right, beautiful. Intrend, Night Reaper, much love, fellas. I had to turn off alerts for now, because I got to start asking this guy some questions, okay? Mantis, as you know, Part of this game show is me distracting you with questions. So we're yep. gonna start off easy, and we're gonna get... There's actually no difficulty to the questions, it's just a bunch of questions. Okay, first question. How long have you been playing old school? Run. Um, uh, since, I'd probably say, like, middle school? Like, grade seven, six? Yeah. 
later on then. I That's that incredible. It's probably like 20 years, so maybe like 18. And you're still scared you're not going to do very well on this challenge, huh? I said I was going to ace the challenge. I don't know what you mean. What okay. Well, that's my next oh, question. Oh, don't hit the ram. Yep, go. Now that you've seen the list and you've seen the value of these prizes, how much money do you think you're winning for the boys and girls out here tonight? I'm going to say at least 100 mil. Easy. 100 mil, chat. You hear that? He's very confident. I would hope so after playing for 20 years, okay? Ahem. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Mantis. You've been playing RuneScape for 20 years. How long have you been streaming? Uh, streaming for three years now. Three years November, actually, I think. So, like, almost three. Go up the stairs! That's a long time. What got you into streaming? Hey, honestly, I saw I was on YouTube one day and I watched a PK tournament um, that involved like pure spam and a bunch of those like PKers. You know, it was a battle royale because I was playing Fortnite at the time. And they uh, follow wool, follow wool is done. And so they uh, follow wool is done. And so when I they uh, after the YouTube video, they said they were all streaming on Twitch. So I went to the Twitch thing. Uh, and I was like, no way, what is Twitch? So I was like, yeah, let's try this out. I, I'm inspired. Emo, top of the castle. Lumberj castle! Throw up! No. Go back! <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at all that run energy you wasted. <laughs> Wait, where did all your... your brother, brother, where did... Mantis, where did all your energy potions go? They're in the bank. I put, like, half in the bank. You're not allowed to bank! Oh. No banking! No banking, no trading. This guy, get those energy potions out of this son of a gun. Okay, okay that's good. I I, all right, that's okay. Mulligan. No banking. No banking. Okay, that's okay. Mulligan. Mulligan. We get, I'm the guinea pig. I'm You're the guinea pig. Emote. Go back upstairs. <laughs> See that there? You get. I waste the time. There, that's now. okay. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I saw the the empty inventory and I thought you sold them and I was like really scared for you for a second because I'm like, oh shoot, you gonna walk out with like 20 mil, bro? Ain't no way. <laughs> Emo for the lovers castle done. Emo at the top of lovers castle. Let's go. All right, very oh. good. <laughs> that was the top? Yeah, the bank is on the top. You can't get above the bank. I'll give it to you. You, There is... That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Mantis, you've been streaming for three years. Mr. Beast just tweeted out earlier this week that he hates seeing people quit their jobs to pursue a career in streaming because it's so rare to succeed. And he basically said... It's really stupid. Would you suggest streaming as a career option for other people? It's been doing it yourself three years now. Uh, yeah, I would. I would definitely would. Yeah. So you disagree with Mr. Beast? Yeah. You think he's I wrong? Disagree with... <laughs> I disagree with Mr. Beast. Spraying Mantis hates Mr. Beast. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> I feel set up. <laughs> I got a uh, garlic done. Garlic done! Very good. Now, Mr. Mantis, is streaming your full-time gig or do you do other things on the side? Uh, I would say streaming is my full-time gig. Uh, yeah, with like a little bit of art on the side. Very good, very good. Seven plus four. Eleven. Okay, you had to think about that for a second. That's good. I told you the questions are going to get harder and harder. <clears throat> As a three-year veteran of the streaming community, you play mostly RuneScape, correct? Yep, I might say mostly RuneScape. How do you deal with the burnout of playing the same ass... <clears throat> The same game all day long every day. <clears throat> um, I think the trick is to not play old school RuneScape after you're done streaming. I would say that is the trick. Once you're done streaming, go play like a different game. And then when you wake up in the morning, 
play a different game as well. I see. Bad as I find the trick to it. I see. Fish food done. Fish food done! And, uh, emote is the top of Draenor Manor. Buy him. Emote done? Did you emote already? Yeah, at the very top, yeah. I emoted, and then they're like, fish food! I was like, oh, I have to go back up for the stupid fish food. Very good. Very good. Oh, no! Okay, good. I need that spade. He's actually crushing the task here, energy. fellas. No, did I? <laughs> don't look. <laughs> don't look. You don't want to see this. <clears throat> we dropped an energy potion. Dang! Now, Mantis, what kind of account do you normally play? I normally play, I would say, mainly my Iron Man lately. Very good. What is happening? Why did some of them... So you're a professional at this type of game mode. I would say a professional for sure. Very good. Yeah. Top, Man, so I'd like to remind 10%. you that you only have one inventory of energy potions. Where did all? Wait, why? Why do you have so few energy potions? I've been dropping the vials as they. Uh... Did you sell oh, a bunch for gold? Is that what happened? Yeah, I needed gold to buy stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? That's cool. I'm, I'll risk it for the... <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That, you, you know what? That's these, a decision. Gonna... I knew you'd have to make that choice. How many energy potions will he sell for gold? I think I sold... I'm, I guess I sold like eight or nine, I think. We'll see if that uh, bites in the butt later on. <laughs> oh, you're so dirty. Okay. All right, Mr. Going? Mantis. Many people say that streaming is one of the hardest, if not the hardest, professions in the world. What would you say is one of the hardest parts of live streaming to an audience of RuneScape players? Uh, try not to get bored with the game. So, like, everyone can play the game, like, super bored. Are you bored saying that RuneScape is boring? No, I'm saying that, like, sometimes when you're watching someone do, like, a boring task, how they're streaming it depends on, like... So, like, you could be sitting there mindlessly just grinding away. Who would ever want to like, watch anyone do boring tasks? Yeah, but if you're doing a task and having fun and making it fun somehow, or like, I don't know, maybe you're watching a video or something, that definitely helps. But I think it's how you stream it. Like, if you if you if you think it's boring, it's probably gonna be boring then. That's fair. I notice you watch Kitchen Nightmares on your stream sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. You have permission from Gordon Ramsay. Yep, we're good buds. Uh, emo top of Wizard Tower done. Emote, top of Wizard Tower, done! It's funny, though, because Kiki tells me that you used to watch Kitchen Nightmares, too, so... Did you have permission from Gordon, too? He's my cousin. <laughs> All right. Mr. Mantis. You have no reason to do this? Oh, you would put us... I've got a tough one for you. I'm ready. What is the weirdest question a viewer has ever asked you? Uh, weirdest question a viewer has ever asked me. I don't know. That's a tough one. I know it. I'm good at making tough questions. I'm the quiz master. <laughs> um, probably like what my like daily routine is like because like as a streamer you don't want to give out too much but like i've had a viewer ask me like they they figured out like 
what street I was on and like where where like I would like would go and eat and stuff just by asking. I'm like, it it was weird. It was weirding me out. That'd probably be the weirdest. Do you that's like the smell of your own farts? Okay. That's yeah, not. Okay. A, by the way, that wasn't a question they asked you. They just they just stalked you. They didn't actually <laughs> ask you a question there. They were asking me weird questions about where I live. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. All right. You walk into a grocery store. And on the aisle, you see a tuna, a spade, and a lobster. Which one's the odd one out? Spade. Good. You got that. <laughs> Sorry about the pause. Uh, I was busy it's okay. looking for items. Like I said, tough questions. That's what I do. <clears throat> Mantis. What is your biggest accomplishment as a streamer? Probably reaching... 2,000 followers, I'd say. I had never thought when I started out I would have that many followers. Yeah, I'd probably say that. That's freaking awesome. I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. Yo. But I'm about to not be proud of you if you answer this next question wrong. Recently, a very popular streamer, one of the most popular streamers on Twitch, Beggar Official, he surveyed his audience and he asked his chat, if they pee in the pool as an adult, 70% said that they pee in the pool. Mr. Mantis, we know you have a propensity for, shall we say, bodily functions. <laughs> Are you a pee pooler, sir? Emote at the top of Falador Castle done. Ladies and gentlemen, Emote at the top of Falador Castle is done. I I pee in the pool. Okay, I pee in the pool. I'm so sorry. We got chemicals. Like, oh, okay, you got chemicals. You got to shit in the pool, too, dude. Okay, that's poo. We got. I, I apologize. <laughs> I lost my cool. This was on the list, right? Please tell me this was on the list. Wizard, Wizard Mind, Mind Bomb! Bomb. Done! Very good. Very good. Well, Mr. Mantis, you're making some decent progress here. You've got about 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 million GP, sir. And you've got 45 minutes left. Thank you, Drip Dad. Ooh, not bad. That's not bad at the all. Easy ones so that after oh, this needs to change now. F keys. You're doing remarkably. You're doing well. I thought you were gonna walk out of here with 10k today. I should have prepared more gold. Sock. <laughs> Amanthus. You've been playing this game for 20 years. As we all know. Yep. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Did you just play a sponsor on my stream, brother? <laughs> no. I guess the engineer has it when you get a haircut. It plays. <laughs> sponsored by Mexican. Haircut and talent or none. I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> Good evening, Bella. Good evening. Okay. Mantis. Yep. You've been playing this game for 20 years. Have you ever been scammed? Also, you got a haircut. Yep, got a haircut. I've been scammed by two times that I can remember. Once when I was really, uh, really young, 
uh, I traded like five emeralds and uh, for all my bank pretty much and they did the whole pulled it out last second and then Wait. when I was oh they like switched 18, it to I took off my authenticator and then I got hacked right away oh wow yeah it was like instantly where's the freaking goblin mail guys I'm seeing someone in the chat saying you must start the quest first. Very interesting. If only someone would have known that. When they were making these challenges. <laughs> so wait a second, what kind of scam was this? You traded your bank for emeralds? Yep. Like they like were uncut, whole... or or what do you think why. they were? I was like maybe I was trying to make some money, but yeah. What kind of scam were, is it? Uncut. What kind of what's the scam? Uh, I remember when that, like nowadays when you pull something out of the trade, it like blinks and like shows you that like there's nothing there. But before you could pull stuff out like last second, and you would lose everything. Oh, goblin mail, got it. Wow. You got that fast. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, no. I didn't see. Did you kill him for that? No, I did the quest. You can see in the top left side, goblin. <laughs> so it's three goblin males. I missed it. Okay. Next question. You've been scammed. How'd that make you feel? Uh, it made me quit the game for a few months. It was pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad. Sucked. So you would never scam someone else, would you? Never. I've never scammed anyone, ever. Not even as a child. Nope. Armor trimming. Nope, I've never armor trimmed. I didn't even know that was a thing until, uh... Now, Mantis, I want to let you know something. If you die and lose the items in your inventory... They will not count towards your prize money. Oh my god. Okay, uh... They might die here, chat. Very nice. Yes, I forgot to mention, if you die and you lose the items, you must have the items in your inventory at the end of the hour to count towards your prize value. Oh my god. Yes. Shit! What in the world? Why did it tell you there? I went to here. I went to climb more so I get run energy and full health. Oh! Whoop. I didn't yeah, even know. Full. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know you could do that in free to play. Holy cow. <laughs> it's the wilderness, what do you mean? I I, I thought Varric Sinclair was pay to play, bro. I don't know. It's, it's part of the is this a brand new account he made for the game show? It is. It is indeed. <laughs> uh, if you make the, can you take off goblin mail, please? You lost Put your back, goblin sorry. mail? Yeah, I teleported as you said you must keep all items in your inventory and I teleported and the goblin meals on the ground Mulligan, I'll give it. I'll give it. To, I'll, I'll allow it Yes Iron bar completed I think that's the only thing I've dropped Yeah All right Okay, you guys can we get a skull out here? I will allow it. So you've never scammed anyone, not even as a kid. You didn't even do like a stupid scam, like armor trimming or something? No, no, I definitely was, uh, I definitely stole once when I was like 14 from like the store and then I got caught and then 
They banned That's me from the mall. That's even worse. And, uh, That's real life, Mantis. You're you're literally a criminal. <laughs> I did it again. You're a thief. Oh my god, I'm talking about a video game GP and yeah, you're stealing Grand Theft Hershey bars. There's no skull, by the way. Okay. Bear in the enclave. Bear? What do you mean, bear? Do I have to kill a bear? There's Good no Lord. way I'm killing a bear at this level. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't think you have to kill a bear. I don't remember. Beer. Oh, he's saying beer. Oh, not bear. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, Mantis, earlier in the show, you mentioned that you are an artist. Yep. You actually, uh, you sent me some of your, I asked for this. I asked you to send me some of your favorite pieces that you've ever done. Ooh. Now, I'm going to show these off the stream real quick. And I ask you, Mr. Mantis. Ain't no way. These are beautiful. Oh, how, thank you, brother. How would you describe your art style? Uh, I would say like trippy abstract art. Yeah, trippy abstract art. Very cool. What got you into art? Was it, was it Bob Ross? No, I actually hadn't heard of Bob Ross for a long time. I would say it was probably um, a bunch of my friends were just doing a bunch of art when we were like 18. And I was like, yeah, I could try some art. It turned out pretty good. So I just kept doing it on my spare time. And over time, I just get better and better. How much do drugs contribute to your artistic process? Okay, so I've tried You're painting stealing on... from stores. You seem like the kind of person. I've tried painting on drugs before and it did not turn out good at all and I did I just stopped. So Yeah, that's because it fried them, your brain. They definitely probably. are a big influence. <laughs> I knew a guy one time he injected a marijuana, he was never the same. <laughs> injected a marijuana what are you saying? Mantis! A necklace, a ring and a long sword is sitting on a table. Which one's the odd one out? Long sword. I'm good. Very good. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you get any of these questions wrong, you lose everything. Oh my gosh, what? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mantis, you had 35 minutes on the clock. Have you gotten any other tasks? You got after no. Iron Bar? Man. Man. Man saying man. Going kind of slow over there. You know? Ahem. <clears throat> Are you on drugs now? No, sir. Yeah, you haven't done any dabs today? No, sir. No, sir. LIAR! I, I was trying to help you out. You don't have an excuse now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Mantis. <clears throat> Next question. What is your most embarrassing moment ever? Uh, I ripped my pants when I was in like grade nine and it was a pretty it was a pretty bad rip that I had to deal with all day long. Why didn't you uh, go to the clinic or something? What do you mean, go to the clinic? What do you mean, what does that mean? I'm sure they like have a spare of pants around or something. I uh, I went to school my in the pants. country, man. What do you mean go to the clinic? I thought that I had everybody on yeah. my side. Yeah. But I and went and blew it and all sky high. A gas station? And now she won't even spare a passing glance. <laughs> all just because I ripped my pants. When Big Larry came around just to put that. him down, and SpongeBob turned into a clown, and no girl had the one.
I'm sorry, did you just say Canada doesn't have nurses' offices? Emote in a bard power, go back. I will, I will. No, we don't have nurses' office, no. What? What happens if somebody, yeah. like, gets their leg chopped off at the playground? That doesn't happen. <laughs> hey, that, don't, that don't happen here. You don't got kids getting hurt? Nope. Beer is done! Beer is done, yep. I zoned out your question. Is you getting distracting, huh? I know, bro. Yeah. I know. That's an American thing? What? You guys don't have nurses? That's crazy to me. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. We have no nurses' office. What's that? If you got hurt, you go to the principal's office, and if it's really bad, they're calling your parents, and your parents taking it. We have free health care, so, uh, yeah, you just go to the doctor. Bro, we used to break kids' noses playing dodgeball in PE. We broke a girl's thumb. They go to the nurse's office. They put, like, a Band-Aid on that sucker. They're like, all right, go back to class. You don't have none of that? Nope. We actually got PJ dodgeballs. We got dodgeballs banned from my school because we broke so many bones. We had, like, some crazy wow. kids. They, like, they could throw really hard. It was insane. I don't know how they do it. I, I, I wasn't one of them. Here officially, how do I run energy potions? I might have sold too many, but that's a mistake I'm willing to make, chat. Well, I have good news for you, Mantis. In about one minute and 40 seconds, there may be some life support coming your way. Oh, I see the clock now. 31 minutes left. Okay, don't go. Sweet. That's right. No nurses. That blew my mind. All right, so your most embarrassing moment is ripping your pants. It's not when you like ripped ass on stream really loud and thought nobody heard it. Nope. That was that was pretty embarrassing. In fact, my viewers probably think that those sounds in the clips were edited. Thank you, Muggy. They were not edited. They were only the volume level were raised so that you could better understand what was happening. But all of those sounds were natural mm. sounds. Am I correct, man? None of those were sound bites, right? Like, you no, were not pushing a button real. over there. Yeah, those are all real. Okay. I have very weird sounding parts. And I'm gonna I be just, honest, you know, dude. That last one, I'm worried. I'm worried. Uh, that thing was unfired, ripping. Unfired pot, emote, top of barb tower. Unfired pot and emote at top of barb tower. Boom. 100% natural battle. Ahem. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, I can do those three, yep. Very good. Find an axe and get some wood, he says. Can we help? You can give tips and like where, where stuff is. All can right. I share the emote list with them, beggar? They have it. Oh, the item yeah. List? yeah, you can share it. All right, I've got some questions from the chat that chat wanted to know about you. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Um, Bit Holmes asks, what is it like having a better beard than beggar if it... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if you feels answer wrong, good. you could lose everything. Feels, feels pretty good, brother. Pretty good. Fifteen hundred right. GP. You're you're crazy, Mr. Mantis. You've been sentenced to death. Hypothetical scenario. You've been sentenced idea. to death, most likely due to thievery or. Drug usage, something like that. I don't even know. Um, what is your death row meal? Mighty Salad wants to know. Your final meal. It's going to be a nice T-bone steak with, like, some Taco Bell. I'm going to probably do, like, a Taco Bell taco, a burger, maybe some chicken nuggets from McDonald's. We're going to have, like, a Whopper from Burger King. We're going to have 
Uh, this is Canadian because I don't know what you guys have in the US, but I'm gonna hit like every fast food food group. I'm not gonna eat them all, but I'm gonna have like one bite of this one, maybe another bite of this one, you know, little bites. This man's about to die and he's like, yo, give me some McDonald's chicken nuggets. Are you serious, brother? You could have anything. You could have anything in the world and you wanted some McDonald's chicken nuggets? Don't, I don't even know. If, can we can we even call those chicken? They're like, listen, I like chicken nuggets. I like chicken nuggets, but like, I said you could have anything. You yeah, going to make? I, yeah. you, you, I'm I'm dying. What does it matter what I eat? <laughs> I just assumed you'd want to eat something good before you go. You know. Emo top of uh, Verrock Castle. Emo done. top of Verrock Castle. Uh, you're missing the T-bone steak. Yeah, so the T-bone steak. Don't I mean, forget I said T-bone steak first. Yeah, that's fine. That was <laughs> fine. I didn't have a problem with that. Beggar, what did you hit Taco Bell? I'm not Beggar. I'm the Quizmaster. I don't know what that guy would do. He'd probably go to Taco Bell, though, because they have a great menu. Variety of options for a low-budget price. Are you giving me a Taco Bell ad right now? Not to mention they've got delicious sauces and the new empanadas out on March 13th. Check it out near you. Not a sponsor. Um, okay. So some chicken nuggets. By the way, I'd like to I'd like to let you know that Mighty Salad is a gourmet chef. A world-renowned gourmet chef, and you just told him you wanted some chicken nuggets. From McDonald's for your last meal. I'm sure he'll love that answer. He's gonna be very excited about that, just as I am. All right, Mantis. White apron done. White apron done. Oh, Mantis, I apologize. You are past the 30-minute mark. Mantis, I offer you a lifeline, sir. You may either have. 5,000 gold coins. A new inventory of energy potions. Or five extra minutes on the clock. Is the inventory with uh, the energy potions together? Yes. But then, I, but then I lose all of the points of these ones? You would have to decide which items to get rid of oh. and, for the potions, correct? I think I'll just take the 5k. He's taking the 5k. All right. I'm on my way to you, sir. What world are you on? 382, you were just there. But then you <laughs> I went to go buy more energy potions because it seemed like the no-brainer, but you went with the 5k. Very good. I'll add on a few moments. No, I will add on a few moments for the delay there. Thank you. Starting now, I'm pausing the timer. Mithra Battle Axe? Mithra Battle Axe? Completed! Very good. Chat is hating me for that T-Bell for my last video. <laughs> <laughs> What's the total so far? Let's take a look here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. He's at 51 mil, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. 51 million. Not bad, Mr. Mantis. You've surpassed all expectations. Okay, I feel pretty good now. Not really. I thought you were going to get 100 mil, so you're not doing so hot. All right, next question. Oh, I know what I'll do, Pepper. 
We've already discovered that you have an odd sense of taste buds. What is your opinion of pineapples on pizza? They belong on pizza. I like, I, I'm okay. You know what? I gotta tell you, a Hawaiian pizza. Quizmaster approved. Yeah. Quizmaster approved. I like pineapple on pizza. Good answer. Yeah. All right, now here's another one. Do you like olives? Nope. I will, if they're on my pizza, I'll eat them. All of these nuts in your face! Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I apologize. Got carried away. Ahem. The timer is back. Burnt chicken. Burnt chicken. Completed. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Mantis, on the topic of food. Thank you. Man. This is a question from yep. Two Bear Arms. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what is it going to be? Watermelon. If it had like protein, you know, and it filled you up and gave you all the right central nutrients, watermelon. That is not an answer. I'm not I saying was soy sauce. Get out of here with the I'm soy sauce. Mantis, <laughs> that's interesting you brought up soy sauce. I have another question that was asked by the viewers. I heard that you did a cooking stream and you used an entire bottle of soy sauce on like a singular pork chop. The chat wanted to know if you know what the sodium content is in soy sauce. I was using low sodium, so soy sauce, so it automatically comes with lower sodium. And I put like a tablespoon max. I think, you know how the camera tends to add 10 pounds? Trust it's me. The same, <laughs> same for liquids. Oh, no. Same for liquids. <laughs> Camera adds 10 fluid ounces. More like 50 pounds in some cases, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah, right? So they, they were like, well, it looks like a lake of soy sauce, but I'm like, okay. really? It's not that much. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, Here comes oh, another bucket question. Of, bucket of milk, done. Bucket of milk! Completed! Where the heck is bucket of milk at on here? <laughs> Wait, where the heck is bucket of milk? Oh, I see it. Very good. He emptied an entire bottle of soy sauce. He is lying. Ban that person. Okay. <laughs> I see. All right, Mr. Mantis, I've got another question for you. Yep. <clears throat> As you know, I'm the quiz master. I'm the king of tough questions. King. Is the glass half full or half empty? Empty. No questions asked. It's half empty. Okay. Mantis, <laughs> if you could talk to any famous person, by the way, that last question was a question from Slay All Goth. Thank you. It's a tough one. <laughs> if you could talk to any person, famous person, past or present, who would it be and why? Vince Vaughn. I just, I really like his movies and I think he'd be a fun person to talk to. Vince Vaughn? Hold on, is that the, wait a second, is that the wrestling guy? Yeah, sure, the wrestling, <laughs> no, he's an actor. Oh. Okay, who's the wrestling guy that just... 
Isn't that... That's McMahon or something. Okay. I was going to say, that's a terrible pick, bro. He just got, like, accused of trafficking or something. Okay. Yeah, Vince Vaughn. Okay. He's, he's a funny-looking guy. Is that why you relate to him so much? Funny-looking guy? Wow. He's not funny-looking. I wait, relate to him? What do you mean? No way. Ah, uh, you're, you're you're both handsome. I apologize. Thank you. Um, Mantis. Yep. Neve. Duradell. And the wise old man get into a fight. This is a question from Jedi Hooligan. Who would win? Neve, Duradell, and the wise old man. I would probably say the wise old man. Uh, it's a diamond. I can't get a diamond. I think you're right. I think you're probably right. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry. Something's tickling my nose today. Uh, um. What the heck is Vince Vaughn in? Wedding Crashers? Never seen it. That's it? He's in one movie? Hello there. Um. Uh, Mantis, this is a quiz show. You're supposed to. Listen, you gotta come on your A game, dude. I got questions that need answers. Okay? Uh, and you're sitting there. The um, 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 uh, Santa Claus, and Dodgeball, yeah, Dodgeball, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen any of those movies. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> he sounds great, though. All right. Blind Genius asks. What is something that you are proud of, but you never get to talk about? Level up. Uh, Level fire five, making. fire making! Uh, um, I would probably say losing like over a hundred pounds. I don't talk about it that often, but I lost a hundred pounds once before. I used to be a really big guy. Is it because you turned your camera off? Me? Yeah, the camera adds 50 pounds. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, you know what? Wow. Wow. All right. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Congratulations. That <laughs> I don't is... think you are sorry. That's, sorry. That's, that's very cool, man. I'm proud of you. That's very cool, man. <laughs> he says that. I lost, I lost 100 pounds, too. Dang. Nice. Then I, then I gained it back with some extra. Been there, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Mantis, next question. Yep. <laughs> if you could add any skill to Old School RuneScape that has not been pulled, what would it be? Summoning. This is, this is a question from Sake of Media. Okay, we're ending the show. Bring back It's time for summoning. a new guest. Who wants to take over? I need a new guest in here. Who invited this guy? Make I can't believe this is my again. first guest. Oh my God. That was such a fun skill. Having a big old creature following you and story stuff and like, that was the best. Why do people hate on it so much? Fire staff. Fire staff. I think people just don't understand the, the power of it. I think that's the opposite. I think they understand. I think you don't understand the power of it. You see, because that's the thing that people didn't like is it was busted. Okay. It was so good. What made it bad? I think people get confused with the. You, you take a pack, yeah. You're literally taking the bank into the boss with you, brother. That was cool. You literally don't. Have to All right. Can drop four balls alone? True. I don't want to get worked up. I don't want to get worked up. You're welcome to your opinion. 
even if it's wrong okay you, you did lose all your gp there though i am gonna have to not give you credit for any of your prizes that was the wrong answer <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry you're back to zero I'm just kidding, Mantis. I'm just kidding. You got you, I, that was not real. You can answer. There's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. Um, you've got 13 minutes left, and we're gonna give you a few extra minutes because uh, we let the timer go a little bit there. Um, I'll go back to that Redberry Pie. That's a big one. What is some advice you would give to a wannabe streamer, someone who's just starting out on Twitch, and they say? Let me give this streaming thing a shot. What can you tell somebody oh, looking yeah, to get in the game? That. Say again? Say again, sorry? <laughs> I might have lost you there. Hello? Hello? If you could switch lives with anybody, who would it be and what would you do for the day? Would switch lives with probably like a big DJ, one of the big DJs that I follow, and just see what it's like for a day. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. I like that. Private jets, you know. Yeah. What's your favorite DJ? Oh, uh, I'll give you like one of the top three. Probably, let's say, um, the Funk Hunters. The Funk Hunters. Yep. Let's see what they're playing out here. And so I crashed on top when I'm lying in bed to get it all up. What's in my head? And I feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. A little bit too good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I wake in the morning and I step outside and I. They're pretty good. They're not bad. They're not bad. Okay, Mantis. You got 10 minutes left. Have you gotten anything else done? Not yet. Let me ask you something here, Mr. Mantis. How distracting are my questions? Pretty distracting, because I have to, like, stop focusing on what the heck I'm trying to do <laughs> to answer this question. That I don't want to answer. I mean, you don't want to answer my questions? No, I didn't say that. <sighs> Mantis, what is the most hey. courageous thing you have ever done in your whole life? Jumping off the 10 meter diving board at my local pool when I was 15. You jumped into a pool. That's the most courageous thing you've ever done. Have you ever seen a 10 meter? I have a picture. Yeah. I jumped Look off a of water. Meter. That's 30 feet. That's I jumped off feet, a waterfall. Meters? I jumped off a waterfall in Guatemala. I know. <laughs> and you know what I did? You know what I said? I what? said, oh, this water's kind of cold. And then I got out. That's cool. It jumped off a, 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 a deck. It was it was the coolest. That sounds pretty courageous. I saved a guy from a car accident, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you lying? No, I really did. Dang. Whoa. Yeah. It was raining. I was, was at a red you? light. No. <laughs> I was raining. I was at a red light. I'm sitting there waiting for the light to turn green. Next thing you know, my head boops forward. I look in the rear view mirror. Some guy just rear-ended me. Going like three miles an hour. I got out of my car. I said, hey! And I chose right there. I'm not choosing violence today. Saved his life. Saved his life. What can I say? Wait, what? Oh my god, the scorpion almost got me. I wasn't paying attention. That would be really bad. 
right. Cause about your damn story about your fake hero story. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mantis, the I question get him this fruit. The question you missed earlier was what advice would you give to someone looking to get into streaming? Do you have anything you'd say to the up and comers out there? Just have fun with it and uh, don't worry about uh, Don't worry about like people chatting too much. Just worry about like you and yeah, just have fun with it You passed that's, it. I have to go back that way. That's good advice That's really good advice Yeah, all right. Let's see how you're looking here mantis Currently 5 10 <gasps> don't 15 him. 20 no, no. 25 30 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. You have 58. Rune Manifesto, thank you, Paul. Million um, GP. Mithril pickaxe. Boom. Mithril pickaxe! Add five mil to that, whatever I just said. <laughs> Madden Dino Dwarf, Dwarf, dude, I almost died to the Zami wine. I didn't even think about it when I was in there. I was like, oh, these guys are gonna hit pretty hard. I might die here. I think Beggar was expecting me to die. I I might have put some challenges. <laughs> I noticed I noticed you haven't gone for the uh Team Cape 7 or the fancy boots or the Team Cape 3. What's going on here? Oh uh, the the just kidding! Oh my god, you got snakes in the grass! You got snakes in the grass! They're making me go back, and there's nothing there! Wow. They do know they're losing money with that, right? <laughs> yes, I don't know! I'm giving the money to them after this. Oh, the scorpion! Chat, just okay. so you know. At the end of this hour here, all the money that Mantis has won, we are giving out to the top 10 winners in a marbles race immediately after this. That's right, we're gonna pick 10 winners and give them the money. Natalie Lynn says, Maybe. you have time. Go to Al Alcarid, buy a steel scimitar, get locked in the jail and cut a sapphire. That's 15 million. I don't think you can cut a sapphire with one crafting. No, I can't. Beggar, who does your emotes for you? I have uh, many artists. Beggar has many artists. Sorry. Ahem. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's Fire. it's just to obtain one, actually. Yeah, you don't have to cut it yourself. That's true. I was going to try and get that blue dye. Be good. And the sliced banana. That'd be good. Very good. Man, just you're doing fantastic, buddy. How you feeling right now? You got five minutes left. A little nervous. Nervous? I think you did great yep. today. Thank you. You had you had some good answers to some of your questions. You had some terrible answers, but that's okay. You know, it's expected. Not everybody likes chicken nuggets from McDonald's. To be fair, though, you're in Canada, so you don't have, like, Chick-fil-A or anything. What's that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's the longest five minutes of my life. All right. That was a lot of fun to watch. Thank you so much, yo. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. Who said that? It's Rune not Manifesto. over yet. Rune Manifesto. Manifesto. Chill out, bro. We're still going here. This guy. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, let me shout okay. off some of the items that you still need. Toy horse for one million. A moat at the top of Karamja Volcano for one million. A wig. A brass necklace for five million. A red bead for five million. A cut sapphire, five million. A random event outpiece for five million. You haven't had any random events? No. Unlucky. Uh, leather. The leather people who are, mm, no, I can't do that. Leather people van braces, like five million. Karamja rum, five million. Blue dye, five million. Sliced banana, five million. A I just got sliced banana. Sliced banana completed. Yeah, I can't teleport to Lumber. Uh, six and a half minutes on my thing. 
A skull. People not looking at the five million. The time. A green cape. Five million. A steel scimitar. Five million. Get locked up in Port Sarum jail. Five million. Earth talisman. Five million. Kick a moss giant. Five million. Kick a greater demon. <laughs> five million. Redberry pie. Ten million. Cut diamond. Ten million. That's kind of an RNG. You had to get a random for that one. A limpwort root. Ten million. Team Cape 3, 10 million. Fancy Boots, 20 million. Team Cape 7, 25 million. Mm. Now nah, I'm gonna do this one. Very good, very good. Squinch, so good to see you, buddy. Much love, man. All right, chat. I think I've pretty much asked all my questions today. Chat, I'll open it up to you for the last few minutes here. Does anyone have any questions that they'd like me to ask Mantis? Before the end of the show here. Toy he's Horse? Done a, he's done a great job today. Toy Horse! He's done a great job. Anthony Howard coming in with the sub, y'all. Thank you very much. Did anyone else do anything? I'm so sorry. I have my uh, sound alerts off. Clue Ace, hello. 99 Slayer Tab, thanks for the follow. Oh, Bella came in with a raid. I totally didn't even see that. I'm so sorry, Bella. Divine Insane, hello, hello, hello. Oh, now I feel terrible. I missed the whole raid. This is terrible. I'm gonna turn on my sound alerts again because that's um, a terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, blue die. Blue die! Very good, very good. What's your go-to Taco Bell order, Mantis? You mentioned you want to have Taco Bell and Death Row. What's your, what's your go-to? Uh... Okay, so the reason I don't eat Taco Bell that often. I eat it like once every three, four months. Uh, I just said it because like I figured I'd want to have like all of the. It, was th it wasn't just Taco Bell. It was like every fast food place. I'm taking the best of the best of what they got. I see. And I want to bite of all of that. I see. So probably like five soft tacos, you know. Very good. What did you steal from that store? I was going to the movie with some friends when we were 14, like 13. It was chocolate bars. What was it? Chocolate bars. Mm, what kind of chocolate bar? I, I don't remember what kind of chocolate bar. Interesting, but... because I remember I stole a Slim Jim when I was a child by accident. I put it in my jacket pocket. I was planning to pay for it later. I forgot. I rode my bike home and I realized, and guess what I did, Mantis? I rode my bike all the way back and I returned it. Me too. I returned, returned to chocolate. I, I'm gonna be honest. I returned it to the wrong store because there was two grocery stores right next to each other, and I went to both of them, and I forgot which one I bought it from. And then I remembered later, like, oh shoot, I got that from the Dollar General, and I got the other thing at Publix. Oops. Okay. But anyways, but I remember to this day because I've never stolen again. Have you stolen more than that, Mantis? Mantis, your time is officially up. But I will give you another moment here to buy the Karumja wine. Boom. And a moat at the top of the volcano. <gasps> that was the plan. I was like, oh, maybe I can get them both. I think Let's freaking go. Good. The, the, the 25, the 20 mil one fancy boots. I thought about that, but I was like, if I die on the fourth floor, that's a lot of mail. Lost. I was like, I'm not taking that. Yeah, I put a few baits in there. You know, I have, I have uh, kick a. I was hoping you would go for one of them, man. I was hoping I put fancy boots in there for twenty million. Okay, I, it is possible to do it on a level three. I I watched some videos. Like it is, it is physically possible to do. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think you're gonna do it, but I, it is possible. So I put it on there. Um, Team Cape 7, did you see where that's at? No, where is that? It's in the bandit camp. <laughs> there is no way, bro. You level 3, there's like level 125 bandits everywhere. <laughs> but I was I was thinking like it would be it would have been possible if stream had gotten like 30 people to like beat everything up maybe. That's the only way. That's the only way. <laughs> You would have you would have had to you would have been like everybody gather up, but then you risk getting PK'd. So it's tough. It was a tough one, but you did fantastic, Mr. Mantis. You did fantastic. What's let's um 
Let's total it up here. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 million GP, just shy of the 100, Mr. Mantis, which is kind of what I thought we were going to be at. So honestly, I, I underestimated how tough my questions were. You know, I knew I had some tough questions, but I could tell I was getting in your head there, Mantis. I could see the sweat dropping down your face. The confusion, you know? I felt like a Pokemon casting a spell there for a second. You were like, oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Well, Mantis, thank you very much for being the first guest on today's Quiz Master. I've got two more questions. How was your experience today on Quiz Master? And do you have any words of encouragement for your next competitor? Our next competitor. A lot of fun. The questions, some of them are really hard. I was like not expecting those. Um, as for the next person, I would don't get baited by those big, big uh, 20, 25 mil ones that he puts in there. They're traps. I was like, no way I'm going. Especially if you lose all the items. Like in the goblin mail. I can't believe I dropped that. But you gave it to me. So. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. And there's no banking. <laughs> You're like, are you banking? What do you mean? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You did good, sir. You did good. Okay, last question. You walk in to a cave. On the ground, you see a piece of coal, a mithril bar. and a tuna which one is the odd one out tuna ladies and gentlemen please round of applause in the chat for mr spraying mantis well done sir you did it let's freaking go baby let's freaking go oh, drop no. a follow on twitch fellas uh. spraying underscore mantis give him some love 85 mil. That was dope, friends. Let's go. Much love, Mr. Mantis. Thank you, homie. He's actually live dope. now. If you want to go hang out over there, he's doing... How many more hours you got left, Mantis? Uh, what does that say? Hello like there. 18? Hello, Vons. Hello. He's got 18 hours left. Go give him a follow. Hang out. Mr. Mantis, thank you so much, sir. I'm the record world record holder. You are the best competitor we've ever seen here on Quizmasters. Incredible. Dude. Incredible. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate Have you, man. Have a good one. Much love, sir. Have a wonderful night. Thank you again so much. That was dope. See you, buddy. Please. I'll talk to you later. Yep. Yeah.